you're here today with the RF Controls EAS system, electronic article surveillance. And what we're going to demo is with a highly populated doorway, we're going to take items, walk them through, and you'll hear alarm sound, and we'll also identify the tag that goes through. Uh, if you look over here, you'll see there is one antenna that's inside the store, horizontally mounted, and that is performing most of the inventory tasks to make sure the tags in the store stay within the store and don't trigger false alarms. Now there's a secondary antenna that's over the door. That one is our primary alarm antenna. The internal antenna helps a little bit, but it's mostly the antenna above the door. So that's the one that sets the scan really fast and will pick us up as we walk through with various different items. And again, as you'll see, we've got about 500 tags inside the environment at various different depths so we can capture the different bounces and reflections and things like that that we'll see. And there's tags scattered everywhere on all kinds of different items. For this test, we're going to use a single item with a hang tag on it, and this one ends in 1BB. So that is what we're going to see. So what I'm going to do is walk through the door, you'll hear an alarm, and the camera will show you on the screen the uh, full EPC code of this tag. So, let's go. this test we're going to take four items through the doorway. Each one has an individual unique EPC hang tag on it. And what you'll hear is a lot of alarms as I go through the doorway and then on the screen you'll see the four unique EPC codes. So let's go. For this test we're going to demonstrate using a passive RFID tag in a hard shell case. So you can see these. These are more of an anti-theft type tag. They're harder to remove from the garment, just like the old-fashioned HF tags. So what we'll do is we'll walk through the door with both items and you should hear two alarms and then see two IDs on the screen. Let's go. we're going to demonstrate stealing a belt in a backpack that I'm going to throw over my back. This shows that we can detect items when they're on the back of the person, not just on the front or the side. Uh, and for this, we have a smart track RFID tag that's been applied at the manufacturer. So we're going to take this belt, put it in the bag, throw it over her shoulder and head out the door. this test we're going to demonstrate using an apparel tag inside the chest pocket of a shirt and again just a standard tag put it in let's go all right just to demonstrate the speed of the system we're going to throw a stolen item to our friends outside and see if the system can catch us. For this test, we're going to demonstrate running out of the store with a tag box. So let's go. The trickiest part of any EAS RFID system is the elimination of false alarms of items by the door. Here we're only 8 feet away with all of these tags. Again, we've got about 500 tags here. Uh, and our system's able to determine if they're actually being stolen or if it's just a result of multipath and reflections. Uh, the tricky part of that is to identify when these things are actually being stolen. So let's demonstrate that now. problems of current EAS systems is their inability to identify what's being stolen from the store. So here I have a lot of tags on a tag board and what you'll see is me walk through the door and a ton of alarms go off. So let's go.
show that we're scanning the entire 12 foot wide door with our two antennas, I'm going to take this shirt and walk down the left side of the doorway with it on the left side of my body. Yep. Single tagged item, let's go. Thanks for watching our EAS demo and as you can see there's a lot involved with passive RFID EAS uh, but RF controls does it better than anybody else so thanks again.